Hello, my name is Johannes Dizul. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, import external uh, data, external table, uh, into uh, Microsoft Access database. So, to get started, once you have your database open, go to the external data, select Microsoft Excel or any other source that you would like to import. So, in this case, for example, is Microsoft Excel, so click on the Excel document and then browse your computer to find the location of the Excel document. The Excel document called TBL site and can be found on the student cert IONIS student cert sorry IT IONIS uh, IT unit 11 17 18 and then within this folder you will be able to see the TBL site. Click open, import the source data into a new table. Make sure this option is selected, click OK. Now here we have two options. We have an option where we can actually select all the worksheets. So we need to make sure that we select the first worksheet. Um, click next. Here we can actually say first row contains column headings, so we don't ha we don't want to delete the first row. So here's the column headings. Click next. So the field name site ID is the ID field. So we may make sure that uh, this is set to uh, double and indexed. Yes. Do not import field skip. Okay, so we're going to leave this as it is. Click next. Let access to select primary key. No, I'm going to choose the primary key, and the primary key is the site ID. Click next. And now I'm going to name my table as TBL site. Click finished. Can close this. And now, if we go look on the onto the left, I've got a table called TBL site. If I right click here, select design view, I will be able to see that the primary key is set to number. I need to make sure that this is set to auto number. But I will not be able to do this, so what I need to do is remove the primary key from here. Row selected, we are going to remove the primary key. Right click, insert a new row above. I'm going to highlight and copy this because I don't want to retype it. Right click, delete this row. Right click, paste, change this to auto number and set it as primary key. So now I can actually save my table and have a look at the view here. So I've got uh, the different sites now. I'm going to close this now. Next thing we need to do is go to the receipt table, right click design view, and now I need to add a new foreign key, call it site ID. And the data type will be set to number. I'm going to save this table now. Close it. I'm going to go to the database tools, relationships, right click, show table. I need to show the sites table, add. And now I need to find my receipt. Let's put the receipt there as well. So, so tables, receipt. Add. and I will need to link the receipt with my site so one site many receipts and false reference to the grid cascade update cascade delete create so now we'll be able to display the different sites on my receipt as well thank you for watching